Hello everyone. Welcome. Dawn here with Amethyst Moon Studios and I'm preparing to do a straight pour on my spinner with my brand new split cup personalized Amethyst Moon Studios split cup sent to me by Sandra over at Sandra's Sensations. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, you definitely should. She's pulling some cool stuff off over there. So love it. And uh, she reached out to me and she's like, hey, you want a split cup? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. So we're going to try it out today. Um, I've got four colors. These are all the Montmartre um, acrylics, these big babies here. Uh, so I have the light purple. Okay, and then I have the purple, all right, and then I have the titanium white, and then I made up my own violet using the purple and the magenta. So, and I'll show you my consistency, Let's see if you guys can see this. So. There's my consistency, little mound on a mound. And if I do a ribbon, it's gone in about four seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm basically the way I'm judging that is the light reflection around the ribbon. As soon as the light reflection levels out, then I know that's my count. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. And I'm, what I'm going to do is with the four colors, I'm going to layer them twice. So I'm going to put half in. So I'll start with my purple. And then I'm going to put in about half. It's not quite half. Is that about half? Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to put white in the next one. Okay. All right, and then this custom made violet color, put that in next. Okay, and then the light purple. I think that's about half of each. Okay, so now I'm going to take the light purple and layer that on top of the dark purple. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and Get all this scraped out of here. Use it all up. I will not be filling this cup. This is a bigger cup. So, and I only need like five ounces of paint for this. So, okay. And then move the dark purple over here okay it's basically just moving them all down one for the second layer
different ways these colors blend. I'll get different effects. And then come here with the white. Okay. Take this one all scraped out. Hope everybody's been doing okay. Everybody's lives are going well. I always want people to do well. No hate in my heart. All right, and then finish off with this violet color down here. So yeah, this should come out pretty cool. I'm excited to use a real split cup. Thanks so much, so much, Sandra. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Okay, so just go ahead and it looks like it might be a little bit more on the outside um, compartments, but that's okay. So I am just going to pour in the center and spin my canvas slowly. And let's see what we get here. Love it already. Yes, I do. This is really cool. Really cool. So now the second or those first layers are starting to come out and you can see how the patterns changed. That's really cool. So just slowly, slowly spinning my canvas as all these paints work their way out. This is pretty cool. Can't wait to see it once it's spun out. All right, so now I'm just going to come in and do some circles to finish it off. Cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. I'll try to come in here and catch this. All right. Wow, you guys. Love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is grab. I want a little bit more paint on there to help with the flow. 
So basically a flow extender. So what I'm going to do is I have some leftover purple paint and I'm going to thin it out real quick. And use that. So I just, like I said, I've got some old paint here from left over from another pour. So I'm just going to thin that out. It's actually even got a metallic sheen to it. So just real quick, I'm going to thin that out. I'm going to pour some, I'm going to pour some of it into here and water it down that way. Thin it out so that it's thinner, a thinner consistency than the paints there on the canvas. So it'll help those paints move smoothly, more effortlessly off the edge of the canvas. Wow, though, you guys, it's really cool. I'm digging it. Digging it for sure. Okay, so. A little bit more. And I'm just using a eyedropper, little eyedropper to add. So that was, I've already added six of those now. They're about, it's about a gram. Each dropper is about a gram of water. couple more. So, okay, that was about eight, eight grams of water. That should do it. I'm going to give it a quick torch. Get rid of some of those bubbles. It's almost ready. My flow extender is almost ready. Yeah, much better. Okay. So I'm just going to pour around my composition here. get extra coverage in my corners and get my paint knife and spread that out real quick. There's a little bit of a metallic in here, a little bit of a shimmer to this leftover paint that I'm using as a flow extender. That's cool. This is why you save your paints. It might be, you know, some people think it's too muddy down to use again, but 
for purposes like this, it's perfect. And honestly, this is a color that I would use in a regular painting too. It's kind of like a grayish, you know, it throws, it's purple, but it throws a little gray. Purple and gray look great together. So if I decided to put those colors together, this is definitely a color I could use for that. Now that I've said that, I might. <laughs> the bug in my own ear, see? Okay. All right, enough messing around. Let's get this baby spun out. Let's see what happens when all that gorgeous striping opens up. All right, here we go. Wow. So cool. Very cool. Check that out. Love it. Love it. All right, see, I got a little bit of something here. Because I can tell the paint started moving around it. So what do I have here? A hair. Okay. I'm going to give it another spin. A little bit more gently this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Is that cool or what? So cool. Love it. And that purple, that dark purple, it is going to dry darker. So it will dry to an almost black. It's, yeah, it's so dark that it, it almost looks black. I'm going to give it one more gentle spin. Maybe I'll go in the opposite direction. That was maybe too gentle. Let's see here. There we go. Wow, 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 wow. Love it. I think that's it. So I've got this dark corner. I've got a light corner. I've got a mixed corner here. Yes, I'm gonna leave it just like that. I think it's awesome. All right, let me grab you guys and bring you in for a close up. Hold tight. Okay, so here we are for the close-up. I think you guys will really like the striping in here. Check that out. So cool, that violet color peeking in. Love it. Come over here to this corner where the darker purple's hanging out. But you can see tendrils of the light purple and the white in there. And then the blending of all the colors in here. Really love it. Really love it. Come over here to this corner. See, there's still something that my paint's getting hung up on there. You see that little peak there? Something's getting hung up in there. I'll have to check that out. Maybe give it another spin. I don't know. And then coming down, that mix of colors in there is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So what do you guys think? Here's the center. I love how that turned out. Let's see if I can get it better. 
My phone is not picking up quite the detail that I want it to. Let's see. Erg. I think that's about as good as I can get. But what do you guys think? You digging it? I'm digging it. So thanks again, Sandra, over at Sandra's Sensations. Really appreciate the split cup, and I can't wait for our collaboration coming up. And thank you guys so much, as always, for spending your time with me. I really do super appreciate it. Have a great one. Bye-bye.